welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Yesterday we had a question from Steve. Steve said, is there some way that we can basically type numbers into a cell by dragging some sort of a graphical control? And yesterday I showed how to do that with a chart. Unfortunately, that doesn't work in Excel 2007. Um, so we're going to do something today. Um, we're going to add an ActiveX control. So I'm going to go to View Toolbars and choose the Control Toolbox. Now, there's similar controls in the Forms Toolbar, but I want to use the Control Toolbox today. It has a bit more uh, flexibility. I'm going to choose the scroll bar control. Now I want to make sure that this fills um, just a certain row, like row 2. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key while I drag. I'm going to hold down the Alt and drag from maybe D2 over to uh, G2. And it's going to create a scroll bar there. Now I need to set some functionality, some properties for this scroll bar. So back here in the toolbar, I'm going to go to the second icon, the properties icon. And we're going to set a few different items here. Now let's think about the numbers. Maybe in this case the budget has to be between 20 and 50,000 or something like that. So we can set a min of 20,000 and then set a max of 50,000. A few more things. When they scroll, and we have basically a large scroll and a small scroll. Small scroll is what happens if they click the arrow at the end of the scroll bar. And you know we might want to make that be 1 or 10 depending on how much granularity we want to give them. And a large change that's if they um, basically click between the slider and the end of the scroll bar. Maybe we make that be a hundred, so that way they can very quickly get to a certain spot. Now the final thing, the most important part of this, this whole bit, is that we want to change the linked cell. So I'm going to click in here and say that this is equal to cell B2. And basically, what you'll see when I click out, I have to turn off the design mode, but we have 31,788 there. I can grab the scroll bar and drag somewhere else and change that number. I can increment it by tens, the small change, by using the arrows or click somewhere to the right of the, the slider to increment it by one hundreds. Um, and basically what you'll do is once you have this first one drawn in, we're going to go back into design mode um, and use the control key to drag and make new copies of this. I've already made ten copies, you'll see here I just to column C and basically have changed the link cell on each of the individual sliders so I can change any number in column B by just dragging the values here. Of course you'd have some sort of formulas then to total up the budget and say whether they're under it over. Um, you can imagine where at a certain level it would be easier for someone to go through and drag the slider um, to change these numbers um, and get a nice graphical view rather than typing the numbers in themselves. So there you have it. Thanks to Steve for sending in that question and thanks to you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.